they help mold you into the um, the professional being that you are aspiring to be. Really, they they helped me, and um, I'm pretty sure they helped everybody else that was in the same year as me at the time. It was very good. I mean, they really do guide the students well. Um, and you know, yes, I've worked hard to be here, but I wouldn't be here if this chapter didn't happen in my life. And that's 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 the truth. I love it. It's like my second home. <laughs> The business area covers all sorts of different things like accounting, administration, marketing, human resource management. The accounting for instance, we offer courses um, the Association of Accounting Technicians and they lead on to other accounting programs and we offer also very practical courses like bookkeeping, computerised accounting which are very much vocational courses for the workplace. Uh, we do uh, uh, taxation uh, uh, classes, which is uh, business tax, personal tax, and uh, budgeting, and financial performance, financial statement. It's uh, it's really good because the the course I'm doing uh, always a part time, but uh, there's uh, enough work uh, for for me or for the students. Uh, and they will learn uh, like they are coming uh, full time. IT, uh, skills for the office and uh, especially accounting, this helped me. If I wouldn't have this in CV, I wouldn't get a job in the office, especially as an account assistant. I felt the support was very individual and one-to-one, -one. it was personal. They knew me by my name, they knew me by my face and they knew me by my efforts and they knew me before I said anything, so that definitely felt good. The course is nice, it's really nice, obviously I'm up to date with the work and I'm doing distinctions right now so I'm liking it. You get treated as an adult where there's not much like school, because in school you've got a lot of bells and whatnot, so in college it's much better with friends as well, so it's good. You've got the best staff, most uh, loyal staff and probably the most committed staff. Uh, most of us have all been here a long time, we're all up to date with our skills, we're very passionate about what we teach. Um, and you know, we get the best speakers in and as I say a lot of our students go on to really become really successful in jobs. I still see some of my ex-students driving around in, in cars better than mine. We've had a range of people come in, people from local banks come in to help our lecturers assess business plans that our students might do. Um, we've got a particularly good link with um, Saatchi and Saatchi who are one of the biggest international um, advertising agencies. Richard Heitner came in from Saatchi and did a whole talk all about love marks, which was fantastic. It's probably one of the best in all my years of teaching, which is 20 years. It's got to be most, one of the most memorable speeches and talks students are fascinated by it all. And how advertising is put together, how the whole emotional attachment becomes to brands, how advertising works, how humour works, how humour sells. It's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Lecturers have the opportunity to go down there and spend time with their executives so that they come back and when they're in the classroom teaching about marketing and advertising they really have got the most up-to-date um, exciting um, take on the curriculum that they could possibly have. In, in my second year at um, Barnet and Southgate they, um, they got us to um, do an internship at a respective um, firm of our choice. We had to choose six firms and send out six cover letters to six firms. Um, they pretty much are the reason, part of the reason as to why I'm so confident in the work area now because they, um, if it weren't for that experience of being an intern and being under a supervisor, I wouldn't have um, understood what was required of me. The biggest um, systematic links, if you like, come through um, where we place our foundation degree students on an internship. So in the second part the year of their programme, they do a three month internship with an employer in the London area. Um, obviously, which employer they are placed with partly depends on their area of interest. Um, they might want to specialise in human resources or marketing or accounting or management. So to Depending on what their interest is, we place them with an appropriate employer. An important bit of advice I'd give any student um, is, if you can, do an internship. The internship really matured me as a person and it helped me. It's hard to explain. 
I mean, when you watch this, it's, it's going to be hard to, it's hard to kind of, um, you won't know until you've done it. When you see what's out there in a real job, where you're not just the photocopying boy or the tea boy, when you're actually doing something and there's pressure involved and there's deadlines, not like an assignment deadline, like real, you know, we're talking like a million dollar company relying on you to kind of make business decisions which can be worth thousands of pounds. It's a whole different type of pressure to hand in an assignment. I mean, some of our foundation degree students go on and work for employers for a three month period and they often get jobs out of it. So the skills are very much based what you learn in college is enabling them to get jobs in the real place. I'm already working as a counter assistant. Um, so I think I would like to be accountant because I'm an accountant. Um, I will be a content technician. I'd like to be a content and work in the charter accounts. So be a professional. Uh, for now, I'm just slowly going to reach my point. So I'm happy. I went on to um, Middlesex University, which I, I believe is working in partnership with this college. I went on to there and done a um, well, yeah, a full BA um, bachelor's in um, business management. I left the university with um, a first class honours and uh, approved City and Guilds internship at GE Healthcare. And then I went back to GE when I finished and said, hey, I got a first, not a two one. Uh, can, I, can I apply for the graduate scheme? Um, I applied and I was successful. It was a two year programme. Um, and then after the two years, you, you, they kind of say, right, you're training, your, your, your graduate scheme training is done. You now um, are ready to go into a permanent medical um, sales specialist role. I was at the time specialising in anaesthesia and patient monitoring, so um, selling to um, the NHS and the private hospitals. I was here in between 1982 and 1984, it's now 2014 and I haven't aged at all in all those years and I was a student studying exactly the same course I teach on which is BTEC National in Business it was, and it was still called BTEC then and then I went out to work, went on, did some further qualifications, then I worked in sales and marketing for about eight, nine years um, and, and here I am back teaching students some of the things I've learned but much more up to date. The message really is no matter how you do with your GCSEs we've got a programme that will and we'll be able to take you on whether it's level one, level two or level three. Um, level two will give you the equivalent of your four GCSEs at grade C and level three will offer you a diploma or an extended diploma that will take you on to university. You'll never regret it.